Hello all you beautiful thrill seekers, my name is Coach Shardogs to Born, but built for theme parks and welcome to another theme park newsroom update where today we're going to be looking at Indiana Beach because there's a potentially, um, potentially there could be adding a brand new roller coaster for the 2022 season. Now we're going to be sharing all the information on an article from Coaster Nation. That article has been linked in the description down below. Uh, so make sure you go check out the article for yourselves after the video. Uh, but this is all about a brand new potential roller coaster for 2022 and an option that's been rumoured about on the article. Now before we get started, uh, we have to do all this good stuff to tell you guys about how you can keep up to date with the channel. So make sure you like the video if you've loved it. Make sure you comment down below your thoughts and also your questions for the next Q&A video that celebrates 3,000 subscribers. Use the hashtag question before or after your question. Uh, they will be all right. They will be in use uh, for that next Q&A video when we hit 3,000 subscribers. We've still got a long way to go till then, but we are, you know, on the road, which is great. Uh, also, guys, make sure you go to the description down below where, if you can also find the article uh, for this video linked in, you can also find links to Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. And also, guys, there is a link to the Discord server where you could join and interact with the other coaster child fans and for now guys let's have a look at all the information surrounding a new coaster for 2022 at indiana beach so with the construction of the polyps ride and the drea looping roller coaster um there is a big big rumor of a brand new roller coaster likely to open in 2022 back on december 7th 2020 in a presentation to the White County Commission's office, Gene Staples, the current owner of the park, laid out future plans, outlining his plans to add major rides every year up to the park's 100th anniversary and mentioned that the park was to get a new roller coaster in the next year, referring to 2022. In mentioning the new ride, Gene wanted, went on to say it has lots of positive history to it. It's almost like running a piece of artwork, if you will. It says a lot of the roller coaster community. It's going to bring in a lot of tourism to the town. Now, considering the rapidness the park has acquired the Drea Looping roller coaster, it seems that Indiana Beach has been actively looking over the used ride market. In the process of the purchasing the Schwarzkopf Drea Looping, they may have silently acquired another coaster from La Feria Theme Park the Cascabel 2.0. Now, those of you will recognize that ride from previous experience because this is a Schwarzkopf Shuttle Loop flywheel coaster which operated between 1994 and 2019 at La Feria Chapultepec Magico in Mexico City. But before that, it operated between 1980 and 1990 as laser loop at Kennywood. Uh, this is their old flywheel coaster. Now, La Feria is a theme park in Mexico City. Um, it is SBNO currently. It does have the current Montana Rusa coaster, uh, which is SBNO along with it, uh, but the rest of the coasters are removed and relocated elsewhere. Uh, however, this would be an interesting addition, and of course there is a video actually on Coaster Nation's YouTube channel where it shows you how they fit both coasters in there, and I thought it was a really, you know, interesting video. So I've, le I've left the link for that in the description down below as well, so you can check out the link to that video for yourselves, uh, and you can watch that for yourselves as well, because I think that it's, uh, it's a very interesting way of how they've fitted both coasters in. And I definitely think that, you know, they've done really well in fitting both coasters into the animation. So I recommend you really go and try that out. Uh, because from the look of the animation video, both coasters are looked to be uh, near the Steel Hog roller coaster on two sites that are potential prime coaster quality sites. Um, so I've got no idea if this is true or not, whether they have bought the laser loop, the old laser loop from Kennywood, uh, which is now at La Feria as the uh, Cascabel 2.0, but... We'll see how it goes. So there we go. Big video from Indiana Beach today. Massive uh, massive thanks to Coaster Nation. Make sure you go into the description down below where you can find the link to the article, a link to their YouTube channel, as well as a link to the specific video uh, where you get to see the actual uh, way they fit in both the flywheel potentially for 2022 and this Drea looping for 2021 near Steel Hawk. So make sure you go check out that video. That's linked along with the uh, YouTube channel and the article with all the information from today's video on there. Uh, but my thoughts on this, this is definitely interesting because, you know, Indiana Beach have been growing rapidly. I love the statement from Gene, uh, the new owner, who says that, you know, he's planning to add all major rides in every single year, right up until the 100th anniversary of the park. 
and you know just a just a little note to gene there is a b&m invert on the market i believe on interlink um i think it's that one i think it's called kuwait amusement park i'm not too sure whereabouts it is i can't remember but i know they've got like a b&m invert there i think that's on the market so if anyone's you know wanting to look on interlink or anywhere where there's the b&m invert of, up for sale go for it like water valley get your checkbooks out um but yeah it's um it's very interesting isn't it because you know i think that this i think if if uh indiana beach are going to buy the flywheel if they have silently bought the flywheel for next year uh, for the next year onwards uh 2022 um I think looking at the coaster nation video and how they've sort of fitted it around the steel hall or, or surrounding the steel hall coaster I think that they've done really, really well to sort of fit both coasts together. So I think that the drill looping is like a phase one for that area. And then phase two is bringing in this laser, old laser loop from Kenny Wood that's at La Feria now. And bring it in for 2022 near the looping coaster and the Steel Hog is a phase two for that particular site of the park. So I think it'd be a really good theory. Really good investments for the park. And, you know, Indiana Beach are really... They're being tactical with their investments here. In terms of brand new roller coasters, they're being very, very tactical because they're not just getting, you know, the biggest and best from anywhere. They're not just getting pre-owned coasters from nowhere. They're literally thinking tactically about this because the Drill Looping Coaster's got a rich history. The Cascabel, that's got a rich history with the likes of Kennywood. And, you know, I think both investments are going to be really historic additions for the park. And I think they've really thought about these investments. So... You know, fair play to Indiana Beach for making this potential investment, and I can't wait to see if it is true whether they're going to get this coaster in 2022. But we'll see what happens. Uh, so there we go, guys. So thank you very much for watching this theme park news update on Indiana Beach. Again, massive shout out to Coast Nation for the article, which is linked in the description down below. For the video that I've seen myself, which you can watch for yourselves in the description down below, as well as subscribing to their YouTube channel, which is also linked in the description down below. For now, guys, thank you very, very much. My name is Coast Shell. Keep living the coast life. I'll see you guys next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a Indiana-tastic day.